You Hello, are. everybody. I'm Pearl. I'm Bob. And we are just passing through. And this is our next exit. Come and join us. Well, maybe not. This is Tinker. Yeah, maybe you don't need to come and join us, like Bob said. As you can see our view outside the window. We're at uh, Tampa Bay Lazy Days RV and Service Center. And yeah, and Service Center. And unfortunately, we're in the Service Center part. We're not buying a new RV. But uh, we've had a pretty good time in Florida, and we were uh, having trouble with our slides. We mentioned a couple times about our slides and our leveling system, and I've tried and tried to troubleshoot that. We have automatic air levelers, and I just can't find the leak, the air leak. And about uh, 10 days ago, the right front corner just went down just in a real short time. Sitting and real cattywampus. Crack the windshield. Again. Put us out of level, and it won't maintain level. And uh, so anyway, we decided to bring it to the shop. And uh, while it was at the shop, they found a couple of uh, small leaks in the ceiling. So we're going to have the ceiling, the roof, totally resealed. Bring up all the gunk, the sealer, and replace uh, everything. And. Usually, <clears throat> this is the first time it's ever been in the shop. But we decided to go ahead and just let them take care of all of our issues. So they're fixing the slides, they're fixing the air system, resealing the roof, changing the oil and filters lube. on the engine, the generator. And a lube job. Yeah. So the whole nine yards, but it's, uh, we thought it'd be a couple thousand dollars. And we're over 10,000 bucks already. Yeah, it's a couple thousand dollars yeah. plus. So hopefully it, uh, it's going to all pay off. Hopefully they get it fixed right. But this is where we're spending. It looks like it's going to be a two week ordeal. But they're letting us, we're parked under a bay right in the shop as you can see like all these guys. And there's probably five or six people that are staying in their RVs out here. They've got a hundred and something bays. Yes. And uh, it's just a busy, busy place. Folks on each side of us are staying in their RV as well. Yeah. Possibly for a shorter amount of time, but yeah, we've seen quite a few people come and go yeah. and So Pearl took off for Almost uh, several days. I flew back to Reno for a couple of days I needed to go get my driver's license renewed after doing it so many times online They decided I needed to be in person to renew it and visit with our daughter and yeah, that was fun We had a good time. We had a short visit but it was a nice visit. Got to go see their property that they're getting ready to build their home on. So that was kind of fun. And get away from me. She left on my birthday. So. <laughs> but she made me like four or five meals and stuck them in the fridge. So that worked out good. And, uh, but it's nice to have you back. Thank you. I it's you, good baby. to be back. <laughs> and, uh, we also had medical attention to take care of. Well, not so much attention. The, the, Physicals or yeah, we did our annual physicals and everything. We all come everything come back pretty good So uh, I've got one more test. I got to do pearls done with yours. I'm done with and you're mine. pretty much good I got one more test and then I'll be done. Yes but <clears throat> Along that that so that's where we're at and that's part of the reason why we hadn't put out a video in a while Been a lot of stress uh the good news is I turned 70 a couple days ago, and so I get to start my Social Security. We postponed and let my benefit grow and grow and grow, and it seemed like 70 would never get here, but it's here. So <laughs> now then that uh, nice big Social Security check's going to all go to lazy days for almost right. the whole year. But we've got a lot of emails. I've tried to make this video two or three times. People are asking us, how is it down in Florida with getting reservations is thousand trails getting too busy and too crowded and can you even uh, get reservations and we've learned a couple of tricks that we we pretty much have our whole Florida set for reservations through uh, March right in the first half of April and then we're gonna head to the West Coast and what we've learned is number one is use we were trying to change our reservations while we're, we're here in the shop and get a RV park in Tampa because most of uh, we were staying closer to Orlando. But everything that I tried, every Encore Park, 
and uh, the Thousand Trails. Everything is full. You can't get a reservation anywhere for this week. Snowbirds are down here in mass. So you have to get your reservation in. If you've got a 120 day uh, window for Thousand Trails, you've got to use that. The 60 days for Encore, you've got to get you a list of where you want to be and make your reservations as soon as your reservation Able. window opens up. Right. And I think you won't have too much trouble. You may not get the exact park you want, but there's like 40 Encore parks here. So you, we didn't have any trouble finding, getting to choose from several of them when we were doing it 60 days in advance. But doing it for seven days in advance, they're all full. But the, the second thing we learned, uh, everybody kept telling me they're all full. And I was asking, you know, people have to be leaving. And so there has, there has to be openings. Why can't we get them? So I called Thousand Trails and talked to them. And what they told me was they released the, when somebody checks out, then they release that spot for the checkout today. So for tomorrow at midnight. So if you want to get a, a reservation, get up and get on the internet at midnight in the time zone where the park is that you want. So we're over on the Eastern time zone. So we're obviously using the Eastern time zone. We were trying to get reservations at uh, the Keys. No, in uh, the Everglades, Miami Everglades. And we tried for about a month to get them. Excuse us. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> I'm not in the, in the actual uh, Chassis Bay tonight, but I'm going to be there tomorrow. They won't let us stay overnight in the Chassis Bay because they got lifts and all kind of equipment there. So they said it'd be better if we moved tomorrow. So, but we're, I think, well, that's the plan. That's what they're saying. So we, I won't guarantee nothing until it happens. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. I sure wish I could say, yippee, we're over there, but hopefully the plan is early in the morning and then we'll get, they, and then they got to back us out at night. We, we still can't stand it, but they'll move us out at night to another bay. And then if it takes another day. So we're on the right road. Okay. Thanks, Will. Uh-huh. Bye. So where were we? The reservation window? Uh, <coughs> at midnight. Midnight. We, we've been trying to get reservations in uh, Miami Ever Everglades for a month or so now. And we haven't been able to find, and we tried a pretty good window there, and we never could find any openings. And so I got up and went 60 days out. So we wanted to get there the last, like the last week in February, last say the 28th of February. So I got up like December 28th. 60 days ahead of uh, February 28th at midnight and boom, there was a vac. I was only five days. I was wanting seven days. It's only five days, but I got in there. So that works. Like she said, so use that, use your 60 day reservation window. If you can't get a reservation, do it, try midnight and uh, be a little bit flexible on the day, you know, try a couple of different days. Another uh, feature I found out is if you can't get the free site through uh, the trails collection, then uh, a thousand trails will give you a, just rent it from uh, Encore, rent a site, and thousand trails will give you 20% discount. discount. And we did that for uh, to get us a couple extra days, but I also found out we have uh, uh, RPI, which is another membership group. They give you a 30%. RPI has a RPI and RPI preferred parts and those you get to stay at for $10 a night and there's like 150 of those. And then they have uh, Enjoy America parks and there's well over 100 of those scattered around the country. And those you get 50% discount. And then RPI is associated with Encore and you can rent a uh, site at any Encore park at 30% off of the retail price. So we used a combination of our thousand trails, our trails collection and RPI. And for the 125 or so days we're staying in Florida this winter, 
we're spending under fifteen hundred dollars for all of our sites and most of that way over half of that is for that five days we're staying down in the keys on right on the ocean right on we the got ocean. we have some friends coming down brian and con coming down from nevada yeah and we're going to have that's going to be a fun week so we got a site they got the one right next to us and we're right on the ocean it's like 180 dollars a night minus our 20 percent i didn't know about rpi at the time so i took the thousand trails discount minus 20 percent so like 160 dollars a night for each site but that's going to be an enjoyable time but then we have to go back to our free sites that's the only <laughs> way we can afford that but anyway we're spending 1500 dollars for all of our campsites we met one of our followers there at orlando uh, Sharon and she doesn't want to move around she's right. got a thousand trails membership but she doesn't want to move around and so she rented a seasonal or might have even been an annual but she's just going to stay there for the so, five months of the winter the winter right and she spent six thousand dollars for her winter camping fees if we'd have rented all of our sites and paid full retail we'd have paid eight thousand dollars or we could have got a seasonal like Sharon did and did it for $6,000. But if you're willing to move around and find these reservations and different uh, yes. discounts and stuff, you can do it for like $1,500. And if you don't want to spend the time on the uh, uh, oceanfront sites and spend that crazy $180 a day, right? you can stay here for the winter, get a reservation, a thousand trails, and... Uh, trails collection and pretty much stay for free if you'll use your reservation window so there's a good chance we'll come back here again in a year or two next year we're gonna we decided we think we're gonna spend the winter in yuma but if we're still healthy and doing good we get good chance we may come back we may way. come back to florida this has been i think our best place so far for yeah been good we really enjoy the way it's been nice especially all you guys uh Hey, Chuck and Cheryl and uh, Nancy and Todd and everybody that's up there in that minus 20 degree and weather. Jeff and Lori. Yeah, Jet and no, all. They're in Tucson. They're in Tucson. Yeah. That's right. And George and uh, Mer Melissa. George and Melissa. They're in Quartzsite. Um, and Pat and Chris are in Germany. Yeah. They did, we got an email from them today. They're, but it's snowing in Germany. Today. Yes. So uh, of all the people that we've met that we still stay in contact with, oh, uh, Tom and... Chris, Chris up in uh, Philadelphia okay they're fixing to go okay. full-time and I've right. got a feeling it's pretty cold there so I think everybody's gonna head to Florida so it'd be nice to meet up with a lot of you folks again yes not next winter but the winter after hopefully we can all stay in pretty close touch so we can plan on trying to meet up somewhere along the way so that kind of catches you up on where we've been what we've been doing <laughs> And we apologize we hadn't put out a video right. in so long. It's just we've had a lot on our minds. Oh, and uh, Will and Ellie, they came down. Oh, yes. Special just to see us. We've been planning on meeting with them for a couple of months here in Orlando. Right. And they're here, but we're over here. They're in Orlando, and we're over here in, in Tampa. Uh, Tampa. We did get to go to lunch with them. They came over here to the Lazy Days to look at their shop and see if they could find a mattress that they've been wanting. So we did get to spend a little time with them while they were here. Yeah, Will just called. If you saw a while ago, we had to do a cut. That was Will calling, wanting to know if we got to uh, got out of the shop or not. So anyway, that's pretty much where we're at. We'll do our, uh, I just can't, we're going, we're, January, February, March, our expenses are going to just be out of the ballpark. I'm tempted to not even put out a monthly report. Because this maintenance is crazy, the RV parks is crazy that we're going down in the Keys. So it's going to kind of blow our expense out of whack. So we may skip a couple of months. But if you happen to think of anything that we could present in a video, something that you would be interested in finding out, let us know. See if we could get some information for you. Something like... If you're curious about how I taught Pearl how to drive the RV so good or something. Anything works. I didn't even get hit for that, so that's good. I got a handful of dog. Okay. So anyway, that's where we're at. We'll Hopefully we'll get some more videos back out. And uh, uh, 
if you want us to keep doing this monthly video, uh, our last one got like 4,000 views. So I, you know, I hate to quit doing it because it seems like it helps so many people. We get a lot of emails. Oh, if you, one thing, uh, one of our viewers, Brent may put in, sent me a file with all the RPI campgrounds. If you want those campgrounds to put on into your Google maps, uh, send me an email. I'll put our email address up here and I'll send you the thousand trails, uh, data, the thousand trails location, the trails collection location. And now I've got RPI thanks to uh, one of our viewers. And so I'll send you all three of those and you can put, uh, import those into your Google Maps if you want them. And uh, probably there's four or 500 of you that have already asked for the Thousand Trails one. If you want the RPI in addition, send us an email and I'll send you that uh, data file also. It really helps in making your reservations. So that's about it. Uh, we have one more stay at Orlando and then we're headed down to uh, the Everglades the end of February and then down to the Keys in March. So those ought to be some pretty good videos, I think. Uh, a lot of you guys are still using our Amazon affiliate account. We appreciate that a lot. If uh, if you want to use that, if you go down right below where it says show more, click on that. And then it talks about Amazon. It shows our link. You can click on that. If you buy something from Amazon, they send us a small 2 to 10% uh, commission thing. Doesn't cost you any more. It's just a marketing right. fee they pay. And uh, we appreciate it. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, think about subscribing. Give us a thumbs up if you liked the video. And until then, keep the wheels rolling. Stay safe. We'll see you at the next exit. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, folks.